Hi everyone, welcome to the third video in our Canva Templates for Beginners series. Uh, so in the last video, I showed you or demonstrated to you how to play around with the text on a page, how to change font type, size, the attributes, um, uh, and we also covered spacing for lettering and spacing for lines. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change out the images. So all of our images in our templates are actually included for your use, um, if they're suitable for your purposes. However, obviously depending on your products and services, you may wish to change them out, in which case we'll be showing you how to um, replace images with uh, elements from Canva itself from within the platform and that will use the free elements aspects and then I'll also show you how to upload images to replace the existing ones and I'll also show you how to rearrange the existing ones that are there um, if you wish to change them around. Um, okay so let's get started so um, for good practice we will um, change the document so that we can see the print bleed. Obviously this is a leaflet so it's intended for print purposes. So we want to see that we're working within our print bleed and our safe zones. So I'll turn on the margins and the rulers all for um, good practice. So we go file menu, show margins, file menu, show print bleed, file menu, show rulers and guides. And now the first thing I'm going to show you is just how to change the images around a little bit. So um, we have a number of images here on the, on the canvas and we also have um, an object above them here. So you can see that these images, these three in the centre in the centre of the page are actually behind this object. So I'll also show you how to arrange items. So for that, we're going to select the object that's covering the images and we're just going to move it out of the way temporarily. I'm going to right click, so you can either right click and it brings up this menu and you get a number of options here, send backward, centre back, bring forward, bring to front. So just for now we're going to send it to the back of the page. So now you can see that it's been brought behind the images. This image box is actually smaller so um, it doesn't cover it as much. Um, another way you could have done that is here, the little um, help box or the information box is you can click buttons and then again, you can do the arrangement from here. So to say if we want to swap any of these images around, well, obviously we've chosen images here that kind of contrast each other, one after the other to ensure they all stand out on the page. Um, for, the sake of rearranging images, what you do is you select the one that you want to change. We're going to detach the image, keep it on the page. If you move that over to the canvas, you won't see it. Um, so we don't want to do that. So just move that one, oh, undo. Don't want to put it in there. Um, and we're going to move this lady here. We're going to detach her as well. And we're just basically swapping these images around. And all we do is um, move this image until it shows inside the frame, let go. And again, clicking, dragging with my left key of my mouse. And again, there you go. You can see that the image is now going to, there we go, place inside the box and let go. So now we want to um, bring the images or this object back to the front. We need to make sure our text stays in front as well. So I'm just going to show you how to arrange it all. We select by holding down the shift key, click the text first, and then click the object that you want to bring to the front of the page. And then you have all three of them items selected. We're going to right click and click bring to front. And again, there you go. So basically we arrange the objects so that they're now ready for our, for end use. So um, you may want to replace images with what's available from Canva. In order to do that, you have a number of options here on the left-hand side. You go to Elements, and then you can use the search options here. 
Um, obviously you get a load of uh, categories down here, photos, videos, all that sort of thing. So let's go to photos and we're going to search photos now for, let's say fashion, see what comes up. So we could say, for example, we could use this lady here. So let's just click her. Now, when we click her once, it puts her on the page automatically. And if I click her and drag her, that will also bring her to the page. And as you can see, I can either put her in the background bounding box, or I can put her in one of these boxes here. But let's say we want her to go in this one. And let's say we want and just to show you how it works. Drop. And it automatically goes into the image box without you having to rearrange it in terms of the objects above. So that shows you how to add an image from the elements aspect. And then if you have your own image, so let's go to uploads. So I've uploaded one image here, here earlier on, but I'll go back to my file. So you click upload files and you find the area within your um, hard drive um, and choose the items that you'd like to upload. So I've already uploaded this one. Let's say I would like to upload this one and this one. I'm just gonna upload a few at the same time. Um, and this one. And I'm going to click open. So it pulls all three of them through at the same time. And I'm going to put all of these in. So we'll keep this lady that we've got here. Um, and if the same as when with the elements, you can either click it to add it to the page, or you can choose one and drag it in. So if you have a fashion boutique or a shop or a catalog or some online store, uh, these items could all work for you in that respect. So we've done. Let's see her. Dragging her and dropping her in once she shows in the box. And last but not least, again, I can either click on her so she goes onto the page for me, ready to use. And there she is already because she's situated over the box and she goes. So this is how easy it is to detach images, to replace them um, within your document, um, to use the free elements from available from within Canva, uh, and then to upload your own images if you like. So I hope you found this short video helpful um, and I will be uh, joining you again for another video where we will be um, showing you how to make sure that your document is ready for printing in terms of making sure the images are in the bleed area properly and how to export that file uh, for print purposes so in terms of having it in the correct format for your printer, as well as to export it for yourself to use uh, in your digital materials, uh, for example, your social media. Okay, I look forward to seeing you in that video. Thanks for watching.